It's time for SHL News. Uh, good evening. I want to welcome all of you to our, our SHL CM Hockey League event tonight. Uh, my name is John Shaknovsky. I am the uh, president of the CM Hockey League. Christian Olsen is our secretary, and Scott Murray uh, is the uh, vice president. Uh, what we're going to do, I'm going to say a couple of words to start, uh, and then the real reason you're here is because of Johnny Oduya. So we'll have some kids who have some questions, and we're going to discuss uh, a really important part of our league, uh, a, a scholarship that Johnny uh, Oduya was so nice enough to sponsor for us. But um, and that's why we're here, and hope you guys have some questions. And uh, I think he'll sign a couple of autographs when it's all over if you guys want that as well. Yeah, sure. I just want to begin by saying, um, for those of you who don't know, the Siam Hockey League, we just finished our first season, uh, inaugural season, very successful, very happy to have expats and ties playing in it. Um, and we've had a lot of people who've assisted us over this first year. Um, but we are very proud as a league and very humbled that Johnny Oduya was instrumental in our, in our first season. And his support is really one of the reasons for our success. We're happy he's here visiting uh, the kingdom again. His time here is very short. Uh, so we really want to stress how grateful we are for him taking part of the little time he has to spend with us tonight. I'm sure most of you know Johnny's been very good, a very good friend to Thai hockey, to include the Flying Farongs and to include the Siam Hockey League, the SHL. The enthusiasm and generosity he shows whenever he comes to our little corner of the Thai war of the hockey world, of the hockey universe, it, uh, it really continuously goes above and beyond what we could ever imagine. It's this overwhelming show of generosity that builds the foundation for the main reason we're here tonight. Johnny has not just given us a thumbs up or words of encouragement, he's taken a huge personal step to support the SHL. Johnny sponsored the SHL's most coveted trophy, the SHL MVP award, now known as the Johnny Oduya Trophy, and an amazing show of support for growth of youth hockey for all the kids here. He also sponsors the Johnny Oduya Scholarship, and Christian Olsen's gonna talk a little bit more about that scholarship right now. Yeah, we are, uh very excited to, to announce this uh, initiative um, and we are accepting applications for this scholarship uh, at the moment. Uh, we are looking to, by the 1st of September, wrap up and find one talented Thai ice hockey player, aged 16 and above, um, that will uh, uh, be able to enjoy one season in the SHL uh, with all the league fees uh, covered through this scholarship. So it's a unique opportunity. Um, and we are doing this to try to make ice time affordable to be able to play in the league without having to worry about uh, the financial part of it. So uh, a great opportunity. We have lots more information on our webpage, on Facebook, and uh, through the scholarship uh, form that we've distributed. So uh, please, all the Thai players out there, if you want to play in the SHL, this is your chance to be able to play for free. So uh, thank you so much for this uh, the initiative. Um, Johnny, do you want to say a few words? Uh, I'll see you. Yeah, I can say a Okay. Well, th th thank you for having me uh, back again. Uh, like you said, uh, I like Thailand a lot. I can try to come here uh, at least once a year uh, if I'm lucky. Uh, and uh, yeah, I got contacted by, uh, by you guys. and. Uh, you talked about, uh, well, first of all, uh, it was supposed to be a defensive, uh, <laughs> for best defenseman, but it turned into something else. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very, obviously, very honored uh, to have, I think, any trophy, wherever it is, uh, named uh, after you. Uh, and it's very, uh, it's very humbling and very nice experience, of course. Uh, so, uh, uh, of course, with that and, uh, and the scholarship, I thought was a very good idea. Uh, to try to promote and, and give a little, little bit of incentive for uh, some younger players to, uh, you know, want to get into uh, hockey a little bit more, and maybe some other guys uh, uh, want to want to maybe train a little bit 
harder to be able to uh, to to get in the league and, and play uh, at the season uh, that is uh, you know, somewhat sponsored. So uh, I thought that was a great uh, initiative and, and something that was for me uh, very uh, you know, it was a very easy thing to say uh, to say yes to. So. You know, with, with, with that said, I think uh, all of us uh, is looking forward to, uh, uh, of course, the league uh, expanding as much as possible, and a lot of younger younger players, especially Thai, uh, that wants to play hockey, uh, maybe and, and probably you will know, be playing against me at some point. So uh, I hope, uh, of course, I hope I can be a part of this uh, program. Further along, I'm 36 now, so I don't know how many years I got left, but uh, we'll, we'll see uh, at some point that will be something that will be really fun for me as well. So, uh, um, yeah, other than that, thank you for having me. And, uh, I want to say something. I want to clarify one thing. Yeah. I do want to clarify, a defenseman did win the trophy the first year. Oh, there was? Yeah, so oh, it's okay. good though. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, D man won the MVP, so you should be happy. Oh, it's Canadian. Donnie Kerfoot. Donnie Kerfoot won the MVP award. From Winnipeg. <laughs> Winnipeg, yeah. Oh, that's, that's close <laughs> yeah. enough. Okay, guys. Um, Johnny's a very humble guy, but he's won two Stanley Cups, which is the ultimate symbol of excellence in uh, professional hockey. He's also won the silver medal with Sweden. He's represented Sweden many times internationally. And he's played with the best players in the world. So something that all of us dream about, Johnny has realized many times and above. So right now, we'd like to open the floor to the kids especially, and we'd like you to ask a few questions to Johnny. You've got a professional hockey player here who's played against the best in the world, so please, if you've got anything you want to you ask them, do so now. Anybody got any questions? Scott, walk around and give the kids this. Yeah, you can hand them the, the microphone. Yeah, you got one. Yeah. All right. Uh, if I'm known internationally, uh, I think it depends where you go. I think in Thailand, uh, not so much. <laughs> the, the biggest uh, part of, uh, of my fan base is probably around here. So, uh, other than that, uh, a little bit in Sweden, of course. You're from Sweden, you play on the national team at times. So, uh, I think usually people recognize my name. Uh, and then I think uh, maybe in Chicago because I was there and I had a lot of success. But uh, other than that, I'm, I'm pretty uh, uh, not known, which is uh, which is nice. You can walk around the streets and, and uh, you know have a have a normal life. So I like that. Okay. Any, anybody else? Seb? Question? Come on. Hey, yeah. Seb, you always have fun. <laughs> Uh, yes, I hope so. Uh, like I said, it's always uh, uh, it's always tough to know when uh, the free agency uh, comes around. It usually starts at July first. This year is a little bit different because we have uh, an expansion back too with, with the new team in Las Vegas. So uh, uh, hopefully there's some opportunity for me somewhere. Can you play in uh, at least another year? That would be, uh, be a lot of fun. Good. Good job. Jeffy? Yeah. Jeffy. Okay, I'm just going to give it to the camera back a little bit. Stand up, please. Thank you. Okay. Out of 10, how would you rate us? Out of what? what? 1 to 10, how would you rate us? At a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate us? 12. 11. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, good question. And how would I scale ice hockey on a scale from 1 to 10? That's a question. And uh, uh, yeah, for me, of course, I, I think uh, as a person, of course, I have, uh, I have other uh, things that I find interesting and like doing, but uh, I think hockey is always uh, you know, going to be very, very high. If it's not a 10, it's a uh, it's at least a nine, and it's been a ten for a long time in my life. And 
Yeah, I think it's something you grew up with, kind of like you guys, and, and you start liking it, you watch it, and uh, it consumes you. Uh, it's something that you really like doing, so you know, probably probably save time. Anyone else? Any other questions? The best player. Uh, well, I've been fortunate, like uh, like Sky said, played against a lot of uh, good players. Uh, uh, I mean, Sidney Crosby, of course, is, is a very special player. Uh, I think that suit, when he was uh, at his best, was. Uh, very difficult for me as a defenseman. I'm trying to defend people, so I think those guys are they have uh, the ability to do a lot of different things. They, they can shoot and pass and score and uh, make plays. And, and, and uh, uh, I think the, the most modern guy now would probably be McDavid, uh, which has well, tremendous speed and. Uh, yeah, it's the same thing there. He can, he can pretty much do everything. He can, he can do it faster than everybody else. And so I mean, it's going to be interesting to follow him, of course, and see what he can do. And then the guys I played with, uh, of course, uh, yeah, Patrick Kane, I think, sticks out as uh, he's a fantastic player. He can do a lot of different things. So, uh, yeah. Jobs. Yeah, I think, I think, I think it was. I think it was Jones, actually. Terror on Elm Street. Who's the best goalie you played against? The best goalie I played against? No, don't say Russian. Don't say Russian. Don't say Russian, please. Don't say Russian. 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 Must be a long question. Nice. Uh, that's a good question. Goals are tough. It's tough to stay on top for a long time. But I think the best goalie. The last two years. Wow. Well, we played against uh, uh, in the playoffs. Pekarine, uh, which he was, he was pretty good. Uh, but the best one I played with, I think, in, in overall. Uh, Seen, I think, would be Martin Lavore. Uh, played with him in New Jersey a couple of years, and he was uh, yeah, just a fantastic hockey player. Obviously, we had a pretty defensive system, but uh, he was able to very consistently play a lot of games, almost 70 games every year. He was very consistent and just uh, one of those guys that just loved hockey. He would throw himself after pucks in practice, even though he was. Uh, over 30 when I was there, so uh, yeah, I would say we might be going first. Can you sit next? Who do I sit next to playing on the bus? Uh, in the locker room, you usually sit next to uh, the defense, you should sit on the same side. And on the bus, uh, usually now I have, uh, the older you get, the, the custom is the further you back in the bus. <laughs> but somehow I got stuck kind of in the middle, but at least I have my two seats now, so uh, that's good. I only took 800 games or something. But, uh, uh, on the plane, uh, usually in, I've been sitting with, uh, yeah, now with uh, Jonathan Caves. Oh. Uh, we uh, have a lot of common interests, so uh, we usually sit and, uh, and talk something. If I played, if I played against Colorado, yeah, yeah, a couple of times. Uh, they uh, they had a little bit of a tougher year I think, this year, but uh, usually they're they're very good. And one thing that's different in Colorado is it's higher altitude. So when you go there and you get caught on the ice too long, it's very tough to recover because you, uh, you get less, uh, uh, less, less oxygen. So uh, when you go there, you kind of you want to you want to prepare yourself and not uh, stay too long on the ice. Because then it's uh, it's really tough to get to the rooms.
Maybe you can just, one thing I wanted to say, to ask Johnny for all the guys here is, so in Sweden and Canada, you can play from 3 a.m. until midnight all day, all winter. A lot of the Thai players have limited ice time. So some of the kids that asked us over the years we've been here is with the limited ice time they have, do you have any suggestions on what they should focus on when they're on ice? Off ice, they can do conditioning more, but on the ice, do you have any... You need to do the on ice conditioning also, but with the limited ice time they have, give any suggestions on what they should focus on. Well, I mean, uh, that's that's always tough. I think uh, if you, if you do have, I mean, there's two elements kind of to the game. Whereas one is uh, the skill, skating, uh, passing. Uh, physical part of it and the other part is kind of how you how you see the game and how you react to certain situations and I think uh, uh, a lot of times in team sports uh, it's good when you're out there with your teammates and you do a lot of uh, it could be an easy game a three on three maybe on the ice uh, with your friends and uh, uh, you can work on specific things but I think that team wise uh, it's good to if you only have limited ice time I think that's what kind of what you should focus on uh, skill things it's possible uh, maybe to not the same extent but uh, it's possible to do uh, uh, to do off ice especially stick handling and shooting it's something you can work on off the ice a lot and, and still have good trans transition to the ice so I think uh, skill for skating uh, if you have a warm-up maybe 30 minutes or something uh, we look at work uh, different angles and skating backwards forwards uh, jumping uh, turning uh, all these different games kind of you can play uh, for skating wise because that's tough to do somewhere else on the 
ice. Uh, and then, uh, of course, uh, you know, some drills. Uh, but, but then I think a, a big part of it is, is, is playing the game too. And uh, uh, we, have, we played a lot of three on three uh, in one in one end when I was younger uh, to get you be able to solve problems, uh, passing where to go, where not go, and, and uh, just get a feel. And obviously, if you're closer to uh, in a five on five game, you're far away from everybody, and you don't you're not in so many situations. So I think it's better maybe to be closer and you touch the puck more and there's more situations when, when there's a tighter game. So, um, yeah, it's a combination between that, yeah. So the skill part maybe in the beginning as a warm-up and then try to play uh, a lot of game, kind of, not game situations, but a lot of smaller kind of games on the ice. Thanks, sir. Thanks. Right, I think we've got one, one last question. One more, right, one more, one more. Why did I choose 27? Yeah. Uh, why did I choose 27? Well, I had a lot of numbers uh, growing up the whole way. I think uh, I had uh, uh, fifth, I had seven, fifteen uh, when I played uh, played juniors uh, and uh, the elite league in Sweden. I've had fifty-five in Sweden. I've had. Uh, 25 when I played juniors in the U.S. Uh, when I came to New Jersey, I got handed the numbers. You can't, you can't, you couldn't at that time. You couldn't pick your number. Uh, it was very, very, yeah, very <laughs> old school. So yeah, I got handed 29, and then I had 29 until uh, I came to uh, uh, to Chicago, and 29 was taken. So. I took something that was similar, 27, and then I went to Dallas and I kept the seven and put a four instead, because that 27 was taken too. So uh, there's no real uh, thinking about it uh, or, or something specific that I like 27. But uh, I always heard that Jeremy Roman got angry when I had it. 27. Yeah, he thought it should be. Uh, Maybe save for, for something else, which probably could be true. But, uh, it's not even in the Hall of Fame. No, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, there wasn't, um, there wasn't a lot of thinking going behind it. This is the number I like. So. Cool. Okay, all right. I think that's it. I think the kids yeah. would like to get your photo. Right. Yeah, we'll get your autographs if you guys John, want. John might want to yeah. say a few. Do you want to say, you want to finish up? Just say, sure. Yeah. Do you think hey, so, hey, before we finish, I want to thank all of you for coming out. And once again, of course, I want to thank Johnny for coming out. I think knowing how much he likes Thailand, we're going to see him again, hopefully. Uh, we'll see him a lot, hopefully. But thank you all for coming out, and I hope to see you guys for the SHL season this year. Thank you. Thank you.